Hello there, welcome to my channel and welcome to Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the unique city and one of the busiest places in Europe. I really enjoy the historic buildings, museums, and the pleasant ambience. And of course, I discover here the beautiful houses and a lot of coffee shops. But wait, there's plenty more and delightful things to do and see. From Germany, we traveled 120 kilometers to reach here in Amsterdam. And the first thing we do here is to enjoy the canal tours. Because do you know that a lot of canals here in Amsterdam? Yes, and it's really amazing. Canals of Amsterdam is over 100 kilometers long and that is 60 miles. Just keep on watching the beautiful view of my canal tours. Amsterdam is 6 meters under the sea level, but we are not wet. And as you can see also, a lot of bridges to connect to other or different places. It's about 1,500 total bridges. Imagine that. You can also see there, it's a houseboats. Around 2,500 overall houseboats. So beautiful and amazing, right? So, let your spirit blossoms at the Kuchenhof, its most famous and largest flower park in the world. Countless varieties of tulips and other flowers, which is famous in Holland. Super duper ganda. Nakakabusog ng mata at talagang hindi ka magsasawang panoorin dahil sa sobrang ganda. Hi! Stress reliever ko talaga mga bulaklak. Sarap balik-balikan. This trip was extra special and it's all I needed, needed to feed my soul. Iba't iba ang kulay na nakakakulay ng ating buhay. Tama? And there we go. Food is lover. Dahil hindi kumpleto ang travel mo kapag hindi mo matitikman ang kanilang traditional food, fresh troop waffles. It's a perfect balance of crunchy, buttery waffles and sweet caramel. At hindi rin magpapahuli ang pancakes lover. You can ride the boats and eat all you can pancakes. It's really incredibly yummy. Amsterdam is well known for being bicycle friendly. There are actually actually more bikes than people because it's more convenient compared to driving a car. The parking fee is so expensive and a lot of streets are closed. That's why no wonder that 12,000 to 15,000 bicycles are pulled out in canals every year. Imagine ganun kadami. Amsterdam made of 11 million wooden piles and as you can see some of the houses building bent in different position but don't worry they have the most iconic windmills to control the level of the water and the red light district the famous and the oldest area of the city Prostitutes have been allowed to legally offer their service, but not on the streets. 
That's why they stand up behind the window and own and have their own room. Actually, they have 300 windows where women are working. And it is strictly forbidden to take pictures or film women behind the windows. However, now as a legal profession, the government ensures that all prostitutes are able to access medical care and work better conditions by regulating and monitoring standards. Contrary to popular beliefs, Red Light District is actually the safest area in Amsterdam. The group of policemen and the private bodyguards employed by the girls themselves are always on duty. Well, out of curiosity, when you go to Red Light District, better you come at night because during the day the, the district is less lively and less attractive. At night, crowds and red neon lights are lively and un adventurous. Red Light District is not about prostitutes or prostitution. Aside from what I mentioned, you can also enjoy the coffee shops, cultural activities, and live salsa or dinner theater. Just keep on watching.